that means it's time to play America's favorite game show. All right, he didn't. He didn't answer. Oof. Dang! Yeah. Looks like we're gonna miss out on his half a point a game average. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, that's great. I don't... It's the Ocho. As always, I am your host, Subway, bothering to come up with a menu, even though everyone all just makes their own sandwich. Tonight we have the Muffin Men down a man uh, versus the Chop House. Muffin Men are one in five in tenth place. It's not necessarily a must-win game, but it's getting close to that territory. Chop House are four and two in third. Eight points per game versus nine point eight—a pretty significant difference. Stat to watch, not so much a stat for both teams, just a query. What are these niches? Both teams have gone with new, interesting, and bad niches. We don't know what our niches are. Yeah, I can't remember <laughs> what we submitted. Was me and I'm like, I, I can't remember. And I can't, I can't look because it's not on like the text anymore. So you're you on a workout? It was interesting. Our bailing on workouts, dude. Workouts is a flop. Also, uh, Miller is going to try to join from his phone. Just a heads up. Okay, I think here he is. All right. Uh, the Muffin Men are whole once more. Uh, Chop House, the worst niche team. Kind of makes sense to go with some new ones. Muffin Men, kind of in the middle of the pack. Not sure what their thinking is. Last week, they lost 14-8 to versus Hive Mine, and the Chop House won 11-7 to versus Pre-Pism, who are playing later tonight. Uh, so Chop House trying to lock up their division uh, quickly. First round is artists sticking it to their record labels. Would anyone like to double? No. No. Oh. All right. Muffin Men, you will go first. Here's your question. The record label of what rock band told them that their titles of their songs were too long, so the band responded by taking out the vowels? Hmm. Could call me. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty random. Well, the thing is, like, I don't, oh, never mind, it says rock band. I think Nate would probably know this, but... Hmm. It's me watching. I mean, think of rock band. Think of their album. I know. Names. They're 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 one of their niches is classic rock, so they might get this. This is a tough one. Title of their songs. They took the vowel out of the Sorry. album. Sorry, I. Okay. Was it, was it off the album or the song? I think it said song, right? Sorry about that. Come on, Qualls. I was trying to admit someone, and then they were admitted, and then it was anyway. Okay, songs, not Qualls, albums. Qualls, give me host. Perfect. I have no idea. That. I really, that, that makes it even harder. I really have no idea. Maybe like uh, Adele. I don't know. Oh, she's not a rock band. <laughs> uh, uh, Aerosmith. Fine. So you're looking for the name of the artist, the band, right? Yes. This is Fallout Boy. Yeah. Thanks for the memories. Yeah. The memories is no go. Oh. Okay, cool. I'm on the same. Yeah. All right. Fallout Boy, final answer. And fun fact, he went to our high school. Oh, yeah. shit. Ooh. <laughs> That's so bad. We should have just guessed. We should have just guessed that. I mean, Paul's forgot where he put his uh, scoreboard. Yeah. yeah well, you were not. <laughs> I found it. Don't you worry about me. The That's just how this season is going at trivia. That is a little embarrassing. The lead singer literally did go to our high school. He <laughs> actually named uh, Patrick Stump, who is 5'5". Five five. Oh, and, good for him. Yes. Chop House, your question. What pop singer was told by their record label that they needed this genre of song to be successful? Is this uh, Lil Nas X? Hit <laughs> of the same name. The one hit of the same. same. Like Lil Nas X did country, right? Or no? Yeah, but no, no, no. The song has to have the same name. He didn't have anything. Like, I'm confused. With, like the wait, song, wait, wait. the, the song name has to be a genre. Oh, rock. Let's go through genres. Pop. No, because it's know, pop country. No, we're trying to think of a singer, not the name of the song. I know, but we're, th we're let's think of the song. Like, what are just genres names? Like names of genres, I guess. 
I don't know a lot of pop singers. Punk, punk rock. Pop singer, I don't know, man. I don't know a lot of pop singers at all. Romance, love song. Love song. What's love song? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Love song. Uh, yeah. That's a, I guess. Taylor yeah, Swift. Okay, Taylor Swift. Swift. Final answer. Sure. That was going to be my guess. That's so funny. They got the name of the song correct. Oh, it's wrong. Okay. Um, it's lo- wait, yeah, the right. song is called Love Story. It, no, yeah. it's Love Song. It's called I'm Not Gonna Write You a Love Song Because You uh, Asked for It. It's that one. Who's that by? Oh, uh, fuck. God damn yeah, it. This is the second time this song is fucking done. Oh, wait, wait. It, it wasn't Taylor Swift. Damn it. Is it um, Fer- Fergie, Lady Gaga? No, what no, am I, no. I, it's, a, it's a lesser known artist. Pink? No. It's like, it's not Christina Perry, but it's like someone. Christina like, Aguilera. Final. It's Sarah Borelius. Sarah Borelius. God, we I got, got this the name of the song. Twice. We bro. got this question wrong twice because of this. Oh. It was like two seasons ago, this happened yeah. to us. I, I didn't, we didn't have any that. time to think of. I thought I, was, I didn't know it was Taylor Swift. I didn't know who the Fuck, who it was. I knew that I was, one. was a song. Well, I knew that wasn't a Taylor Swift song, but that was just the only thing I had in my head. I was like, yeah, yeah Sarah Borelius uh, was writing that song as a message to their record label. So. Yeah. Next round is MLB playoff brackets. Ooh, let's see. Someone wrote something in the chat. Yes, different okay. questions, but same answer. Would anyone like to double? Yeah, right. Jake, you're pretty good at the MLB. Play- I'm not great at the playoff bracket questions. But this could be any year, though. Right? Close. Like, could it be? It's not. He's not going to make a, a 90s playoff bracket. Like, it's going to be in the yeah, past. Yeah, but like. It'll, yeah, be in the still, past, it'll be like 2005 to current. I know, but if the Braves were like weren't in the playoffs, like I have no idea. And the AL, like I don't, I don't know. I I don't think we should. But we're way better at MLB than they are. Remember? It doesn't mean we should double. I don't like. I don't like it, dude. You can't. I, <laughs> I, I mean, feel like is this the team that did not? Is this is this the team that said like they tricked us that one time when we they they made it seem like no that was DV. That, that was don't play. Uh, okay. All right, let's just not do it. I don't. Yeah, I don't, let's not do it. It's too know. much. Agreement. All right, whatever. No double. Uh, muffin men. I same. Yeah, no double. All right. Oh, we Here's your question, Muffin men. Name the missing team from this playoff bracket. <laughs> I mean, I have a great guess. Oh, wait. Uh, they beat the Rockies. I have a guess. Uh, yeah. I guess we can just talk it all because they. Uh, it is recent. <laughs> Do we want to just talk them out? Mets Brewers. I know why. I know why. I think it's, I think it's the Mets or Giants. Um, I don't hate either. Of those. Well, wait, no, wait, wait. They have to. Oh no, wait. They don't. It's have a wild card. It's a wild card. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like. I feel Mets. like it could be the Mets. I feel like it could be. I don't think it's the Brewers. I think it's either the Mets. It's the Mets or the. Sierra. Mets or the Giants. Mets have been good. Uh, it could be the Cardinals. The year that the Cubs won their division. All right, we got to go with one here. So I like the Mets. Let's do Mets. Okay, do Mets. Mets final. I oh. think it's well, Jake. What do you think? I was thinking. I don't even know if the, is it another Milwaukee answer? Another Milwaukee is the answer. Dude, I don't think it's Milwaukee. I don't I, think it's Milwaukee. But... I don't mind the Giants, but Washington, the Cubs. This is 2017. 2017. Yeah, because the Astros cheated, but fuck. Dude, I, don't I don't know. remember. I like. Well, I guess had... Giants. I don't remember, man. Okay, the Brewers were good at this time. Yeah, let's go Brewers. <laughs> Brewers final answer. <laughs> Damn. Cream City let you down. It was the Diamondbacks. Oh, oh, God. Uh, oh man. We had what a an all right, all card game. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was back when it was like a one-off. Yeah. Chop House. Still a one-off, isn't it? No. It wasn't until last year. Uh, <laughs> Chop House, here's your question. Name the missing uh, team from this bracket. All right, 2019. Played the A's in the wild card. Astros were the one seed. What was this Tampa Bay? This is. I think it's Tampa Bay. I think that's right. Houston played Tampa Bay yeah. in 2020 in the championship game. In I, the think championship this, series. I think this is Tampa. Tampa Bay was like good like two years in a row. They've... Yeah. Yeah, you think? Okay. I, I like Tampa. All right. Tampa, uh, final answer. 
pressing baseball questions. <laughs> Man, we should have doubled. I told you. I, I still don't like the double. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't think the chop house would get uh, an AL question, right? But they proved me. I, I knew that. Yeah, we, I only just won fantasy baseball. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. First <laughs> piece round, Dave Matthews Band. Uh, Muffman, this is worth two points for you. This is to tie the game up. For what song did Dave Matthews receive his first Grammy nomination in 1996? This was already asked. Oh, God. Shit. What the fuck? Well, just answer it. It's, uh, well, I got it wrong the first time. So oh, let me yeah. see if I'll get it right the this time. Uh, so much to say. Final. What? Ooh. Oh god, I suck at this. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah. Going down a dirt road. Oh. That's got to be Dave Matthews, right? I don't even <laughs> know what song that is. <laughs> I don't know. It's country. They, I, I don't know. They, <laughs> this got, they have. A, they have to have a song Name called a Dirt song. Road. They have. We said have, we said ants marching last time. We got asked this. So <laughs> should we just go, go with it dirt again? Dirt road. I like ants marching. I know okay, it's ants marching. marching. Okay. Ants marching. <laughs> that was our last answer for Dave Matthews. What would you say? So, well. That are you sure, Claus? Because that's what I said last time. They said it was wrong. Oh no. Uh oh. I don't know. This is according to the internet. Under uh, last time Qualls according to the internet, he made up a Apple Music playlist, not the top <laughs> fifty. <laughs> okay. Wait. I yeah, I don't know. What uh, I'll I'll check into that as it All goes. Right, let's keep going. All right, Thank yeah. you, Rob. Oh hell yeah, we use disc golf. Oh, here's oh. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, disc golf chop house. Uh, what is a shot where the disc is held upside down, can be used to get over a tall obstacle, or to slide the disc along the ground? It's a this scuba. A... Okay. A scoob. Like you're going like this. Hammers like this. Thumbers like this. A scoob is upside down. I should have paid attention to the part of my take videos. They had a, a disc golf thing? Yeah. You can find the okay. answer. Yeah, the, the Scoob or Scooby, Scoob, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Klaus. That's the answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Scooby shot or the grenade, I guess it's also. Uh, yeah, I never heard of grenade. Yeah. That is according to the internet. Oh, so God. It's, it's real. All right. Four nothing lead early for the chop house pending uh review of that last question no you're right yeah. okay the, the last question was which was the only one that won ah all right so i did nothing wrong and everyone else is stupid all right i'm kidding i'm sorry callan all right uh next round is charlie brown tv specials would anyone like to double no no i no. was <laughs> i was inspired all right muffin man to get on the board what is the Halloween deity in the Charlie Brown universe? The giant pumpkin. Yeah. I don't, that's, I don't know if that's like the, the deity is like a ghost. I mean, all I, all I could think about is the, the giant pumpkin. Is he considered a deity? I mean, yeah. I, I don't have anything else. That's so that, that, that's that's what, yeah, that's fine. Let's just go with it. Right. Giant pumpkin final. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I'll causing him that. It's the great pumpkin. Oh, oh my goodness. Hell yeah, Preston. Yeah, the great pumpkin final answer. Oh, my God. It's Ooh. the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Preston game. Preston I like Charlie Brown. Brown. All right, so... That's a five nothing lead. Chop house, your question. What is the name of Snoopy's yellow bird friend? This is Woodstock. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah. Uh, Woodstock, final answer. Oh. Should have doubled. That was yeah, for Preston. He had it. I really like Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, why did, I didn't know you liked Charlie Brown. We I didn't either. <laughs> we couldn't use that, y'all. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> Charlie Brown. All right. So, <laughs> test it. Oh, my God. Six nothing wow. lead, but it's still all lifelines available. Restaurant exteriors. Would anyone like to double? Ooh. Ooh, kind of. I say we don't double on this, guys, because they. 
like have just the like the amount of chances us getting. Yeah, right. if we're not gonna double on MLB, we're not doubling restaurant exterior. I think <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I know double for double, us. We're not gonna be able to double any sports because they know most of them, even like NHL and that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. We shouldn't, with this, we but... shouldn't worry about that. If we don't get our double, we're gonna lose anyway. So yeah, I, I'm cool with it. So double. Hello. <sighs> <laughs> just, the one thing I am worried about, though, is that he's going to do something that's like, oh, like, restaurants, like that are only in, restaurants only in the South. Just, well, yeah. That's I what know. I'm worried about. Like, uh, I think we double it. Maybe we'll I think we do- let's double it. Right, let's double. double it. If you can't get Waffle House, I don't know. Yeah, it's a problem. All yeah. right. <laughs> a double. I expected one double. I thought maybe there would be a true daily double here, but uh, sure. this one. Six here. Maybe for two sure. points. Huh. What chain restaurant is this? Is that Shake Shack? I know this one. Same. Panda Express. Oh, I don't think that oh, Miller, wait, Miller did wait, it. I, I see that it. little person. Who is that? Panera Bread or Corner Bakery? That's what I was, that's what I was thinking, but I don't want to say it. Panera. That's what I thought. Too. Oh, they, yeah. It, yeah, because I don't think The Shake name Shack. is on the sign, Qualls. You can see it. <laughs> Where? I can't oh, see in, the, in the in the parlor yeah. through the front Panera door. Press. I can't. I can't. I can't see it. I mean, I thought Panera in general. I didn't even. Oh, see you it. can't see it. <laughs> it is Panera final. I mean, we it's it's on the sign. But I, I, we didn't. I mean, okay. We, yeah. we knew it before yeah. that. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't even see that until you pointed it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, whatever. Hey, that happened to us with balls on a uh, a license plate. It legitimately had the name of the state on the license plate. You know, that's, that's, that's my bad, but <laughs> I, I feel like they weren't they still we had, had it. We yeah. had it. I recognize that girl anywhere. This is a really easy one. I'll give Not you even a girl. I thought it was from like Keep going. General. I had it before I saw the sign, but I was trying to get the cancel uh the question canceled once I saw the sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shop has. Uh what chain restaurant is this? Is this- is this a Ruby Tuesdays? Oh yeah, I was thinking that or TGI Fridays. Bro, these are all all of them are red, bro. We got they got the one with the fucking bamboo. Look in the doorway. Sighting. I'm you looking in the, the doorway. Red, the red basic. I think this is Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> is it not Chili's? Is it not? Nah, this can't be Chili's. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? What the hell is that? Is it I I don't know if it's TGI Fridays or Ruby Tuesdays. Uh, TGI Fridays, I think, would have more stripes. Are you sure? I don't know now. Look at the like, interior. I feel Look like Ruby. Too. I don't know, man. Bro, what? What'd they get Panera? Yeah, dude. The Panera is a fast food chain. Dude, I feel like I feel like that's TGI Fridays because I feel like Ruby Tuesdays isn't actually red. The logo is red, but the rest of it's not red. Okay. Okay. But I also could be totally wrong. It has no. to be somewhat popular like Panera. We can go to we can go with Fridays. Okay. Yeah, TJ Friday's final answer. Shit, I think that's what it is. Oh no, oh, I, is it? Wait, is, is, out, is it? What about P.F. Chang's? It's uh, I was thinking Benny Hanna's. Shit! Oh my god, isn't Benny Hanna's like green? How? I, I green. I, guys, I thought it looked like P.F. Chang's, but that is not P.F. Chang's. Okay, it's not P.F. Chang's. Uh, I wouldn't hate Benny Hanna's. I think it looks like a Benny Hanna. I kind of didn't hate the Ruby Tuesdays, but go with Benny Hanna's. Okay, Benny Hanna final. That's too nice for Ruby Tuesday. Um, That's a Ruby Tuesday. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm so bad. sorry. It's still a Preston game. It's, <laughs> if anything, this just proves more that it is a Preston Yeah, it should. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Muffin Men did the classic, uh, the other team gives you two answers, gets it wrong, and then you don't take the other one. All right. <laughs> when, when the sky starts speaking German, this is a World War II category about the European front. Uh, would Chop House like to double? Uh, can we get a Pacific front? No, we'd like, we are not going to double. I'm not doubling this. Okay. Muffin Men, for you. Uh, the beaches that the Allies landed on during the Normandy invasion were Juno, oh. Omaha, Gold Sword. Uh, yeah, good call, Miller. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Juno final. A boy Miller. Oh shit! I, I did not know that. I didn't know that at all. Six to three, still a respectable game. Uh, Chop House. The siege of what Eastern European city had the most casualties of any battle in the uh, the war, with estimates being as high as five million five hundred thousand? Primos. Uh, did the German army ever get to Moscow? 
or no? Dude, you listen to the podcast. I have no Yeah, idea. but it was all about the Pacific Front. That's that the, was, old, the biggest the biggest city I know is Stalingrad. <laughs> that sounds pretty German to me. That's a, that's a good answer. Because I know that everyone died there. Well, no, Stalingrad think- Stal- Stalingrad is was a fight with the Russians, which is on the Eastern Front. I I I I, I associate Stalingrad with Russia. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Russian city when the Germans were pushing in to the Russia. I like Stalingrad. That Listen, it's yeah, that's okay. It could be Moscow, but because that's way more people. I've never heard of the Battle of Moscow, but I have heard of yeah, Stalingrad. Okay. Stalingrad. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, Stalingrad, final answer. Oh, if it's oh, Moscow, I'm walking what? Off. I, what was it, Leningrad then? I mean, Leningrad. I mean, I think Stalin or Leningrad became I thought it was Stalingrad. St. Petersburg, I, right? I th- I thought um, it was going to be Stalingrad, but I thought it was too. Like <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Stalingrad sounds pretty German. Uh, I have no idea. No. It's not like Berlin. Like it's it's got to be Leningrad then. Yeah, Berlin maybe. I don't know. I think it's Leningrad. Yeah. Len- Leningrad final. Yeah. I thought it was going to be Stalingrad. Two, though, wow. It is. It was the Battle of Stalingrad <laughs> is, of Leningrad, and that's why. That's why. Uh, that's a little hint. Did you uh, say the siege of Leningrad? Yes. Or the, or, okay. Yeah. All right. Six that's four tough. game. Chop House still have their double. Both teams still have a phone of run. Next category is cricket terminology. Oh, this Are you is fucking kidding me. Shit. Chop House, would you like to double? No. All right. What the fuck is this? Pick an American. What's well, other category? These you have know, won every game. I don't know why everyone's always upset. <laughs> Neil says, "Do not call me." <laughs> I was literally just that was right through my head. Around. If you do Pick call him, five. that is called that is called racial profiling, and we will have a talk. All right. Neil's uh, niche was cricket. Yeah, when they point. use cricket as a niche. <laughs> also, Matt, yeah, Matt, yeah, a different Matt, team Matt, used right? it as a niche. All right. Uh, no, I know that's why I'm saying why can't we call them? It's not racial profiling. Well, I'm, I'm, ki- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right, okay. Come on, come on. All right. Muffin Man. All right. What is the name of the three stumped oh. at the batsman? Oh. Whoa. It's the only thing. Wicked. Final. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, you're nice. giving them the easiest. We're going to get some hard ass calls. Shit. Call if I take it back. That's the only thing people know about cricket. Uh, uh, the classic. Well, I mean, they got to make them easy questions if nobody knows anything question. about cricket. Right. All right. That's the Stop only it. thing people know, bro. It better be overs. Uh, what is the name of the player that tries to throw the ball past the batsman, similar to a pitcher in baseball? Curler? No. Does that sound right? Like no. Bowler. Bowler. It's bowler. bowler. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that yeah. sounds yeah. right. That sounds right. That sounds yeah. Right. They're the bowler. Bowl, good pull. All right, all right. Bowler. Final. Way harder. Way harder, but good pull. Way harder. It's I like honestly, a- <laughs> Hurler, Hurler was like much harder. <laughs> Hurler was the first thing that popped Hurler's in my head too. Yeah. All right. Five to seven. Suddenly a very close game. Did you get oh, that from that uh, the million dollar arm movie, Jake? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that Slum is. Slumdog Millionaire. That's that's when uh that uh talent MLB talent agent goes to India to try out a bunch of pitchers. Is that money ball? All right, come on. No, right. million dollar. <laughs> I just told you. All right, okay. Uh weird niche for muffin men. Why oh, yeah. cats? I don't I don't know if someone watched a documentary or what. Uh, but here you go. For two points and to tie the game, what wild cat native to southern Africa has the highest hunting success rate of any cat species in the world, being successful sixty percent of the time? Um, like a leopard? No, I got a couple on my mind. I mean, I'm not. I'll, I'll let you go with your uh, with your guess here, and just maybe leave everything else out. I mean, they can uh, name cats. We can kind of talk. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not a. It's definitely not a jaguar. Le- also, leopards aren't in. Oh wait! Oh wait! Southern Africa. Oh boy! Gita? Gita? I was thinking Puma? South America. Um, no. Uh, I'm between two. Your um. Hyenas? That's not a cat. And just go with whatever you're what, one of the two. Okay. Let's just go uh, serval finally. Oh, answer. that was my guess. Okay. Uh, All right. I would have I would have yeah. fought for that too. Uh, let's what if <laughs> Lion. <laughs> what if, I mean, what if it's, it could do it like a cheetah? 
No, Cheetah has a low success rate. I, I'm pretty sure. This, this is wild, but I watched Animal Planet my whole life. There's a cat called the African Wildcat. That sounds. <laughs> what if that's oh, the? I answer? Know. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. No, I, I like know. leopard over that. Leopards not in South Africa. Uh, well, I, I think I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's jungles down there. Leopard. Final right. answer. This would be the black-footed cat. Oh, this is going to be much more yeah. difficult than we. Thought. We weren't getting there. They <laughs> only about four pounds, but they're six. The that, I, I was thinking like I was thinking it was going to be a small cat like this. Yeah, it had to be something that can't hunt anything. Too yeah, good. that's why a serval was a good guess. That was my guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, chop house. Your niche, defunct car brands. Oh my god! Oh damn, that. Preston. So we did. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said they they use car brands as a niche, and that's why you didn't submit this. Okay. Um, oh my god. Yeah, Thank I think you. I submitted it anyways. <laughs> what Jesus. brand owned by the Chrysler Corporation was discontinued in 1961 and had model names such as the Adventurer and Fire Dome? <laughs> I got no idea. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> this is Preston's niche. <laughs> I have no clue. You guys gave me no other niches. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'll just submit this. There's a bunch. Oh man. Yeah, I can't even begin to think. They banned mine. Yeah, I was hoping they wouldn't. Do you have any ideas? Yeah, anything? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I have one. I have one in mind, but right, I just say it. I just say it. Let's. let's I know it's not right though, because they exist in like the eighties. I'm old. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go with like Oldsmobile or Final Answer. Oh, that's that's Oldsmobile. Old that's the only car brand that came to my mind too. No idea. Yeah, I have no idea. Either. Great defense, guys. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll I'm take trying to think of like move. I'm trying to think of like movies that might have had like car brand that DeLorean what do you say DeLorean. DeLorean I don't hate that I mean if we have nothing else yeah those were a lot later than 61 but that's the only thing that I can think of all right let's go with it I don't think it's right but DeLorean final I know it's the first model. syllable right this is the DeSoto yeah um, I never would have gotten that yeah Santos. gotta love Chrysler from a Chrysler owner all right two point game uh next round is safety dance this is an nfl category about safeties we have to double about safeties it doesn't matter dude <laughs> is the last one a sports question or no yes what's the score well it's gonna be a basketball five question. to seven it could be wanna... nhl oh man <laughs> no it has there has to be a basketball question in every game that's a rule yeah, that's not yet. a rule Oh, I hate that. Wait, what, what's the rule? Sports. What major two major sports? So there's been what b- football and what's the other one? That's half cricket. Cricket, baby. Yeah, cricket. Okay, so it's not it basketball. could be NHL. It could be. I don't know. Do I want to answer a question about safeties as a double? Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay. Classic tenth round doubles. Classic tenth round doubles is what we do. All right. Come on. All right, I, I, I am saving it. Asked to double like All right, muffin men. Your question. <laughs> what safety that played for the Buccaneers and Broncos made nine Pro Bowls and once sacked Philip Rivers and Drew Brees in the same game, forcing a fumble each time? <laughs> That's funny. Is Eric Berry a safety? Oh, it's not him. He, he is a safety. That's right. Yeah, he is, but he's not him. It, um... oh, Broncos country. Let's ride. Let's ride. We have a front of friends, so too. Oh yeah, we do. This would be the time to use it. Yeah, probably. I just uh, it's a tough one though. But we gotta go for it. So <laughs> who would we call? We got Matthew Spencer. on the game. Yeah, Spencer on the game. <laughs> I love my Spencer phone a friend. Yeah, I wanna, let's do let's do Spencer. I, I got to keep thinking. I feel like I know who this is. I can't remember his name, and I don't want to – there's, like, something that happened to him. We're just going to phone a friend, Spencer, but there's something okay. that happened to him that would give away who he is. Fuck. All right, Spencer, when you start talking, I will. Oh, my God. You guys are phone you, a friend of me on a safeties question? You guys snubbed the NFL guy. Damn, dude. Petey's mad Wait, right now. Wait, does it – 
Petey cover the Broncos? I don't fucking know. Like, um, all the uh, shit. Safety, safety. Ed Reed. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Fellas, come oh, on. No. Petey covers the – I don't yeah, know. Yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, I don't he's fucking a, know. Covers the Browns, I'm pretty I sure. know, like – Five seconds. No safeties that played back uh, shit, then. Dude. I'm sorry, you guys. One. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I – A few seconds. Why yeah, is – the, nar- the name like Eric Little is coming to my head for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go Eric Berry. It's not Eric Berry. It's not Eric Berry. <laughs> Jesus. Three, two, Eric Little. I say Little. All right. Taking Eric Berry. No, no he said Eric Little. Little. Eric, all right. Taking Eric Little. <laughs> Fuck. Just give me a name we all know. I know it. Uh, what What do you guys want to say here? Akeem Talib. Yeah, dude, I have no idea. He was on the Broncos, but he was fucking. This is uh, Drew Brees' first season back in two thousand, whatever seven or whatever. Yeah, um, someone say a name. I don't know. Troy Paul. Not, no, wait, that's that wouldn't make sense. Why did I just say that? I'm stupid. Uh, it's not. Oh, he he's on the Steelers. But, I have no idea who this is. Uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a nice pass there. Yeah. 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 All right. It's almost texting me, and I missed the time. Either way, it is John Lynch. Is the answer? Oh, is uh, it? Coach, current executive of some yeah. team. All right. Okay. Two point game with uh, four points remaining. And uh, Chop House, your question: What safety that played for the Chargers, Ravens, and Rams made six Pro Bowls and was part of the 2010s All Decade Team? Eric Weddle. We have a phone a friend as well. It's Eric Weddle. So, wait, we should use it. We have to double next turn. Call Petey. Our phone a friend? Let's, yeah, call let's call Petey. Petey. Let's just call Petey. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's Eric Weddle. Oh, we, should, we have to use it now. All right. Petey, no phone a friend. As if he answers. I am here, and I am happy to confirm it is indeed Eric Weddle. I'm Thank very you, Matthew. with the Muffin Men who had no faith in me. Oh. They, they should have. They really should have. They really should have. Know that one. I was pretty nervous there. Did you know that one, Matthew? Okay, wait. So who is it? I can't remember. Eric, Eric Weddle. Weddle. Eric Weddle, final answer. That was so much. He came out of retirement. Yeah, exactly. He just played. Yeah. You literally just played. All right, yeah, you, that was the that whole was like shit. the whole Super Bowl story. Bullshit. You guys had <laughs> your nine All right. All right. One guy played last year. One guy retired a decade ago. Exactly. That's fucking bullshit. There, there aren't that yeah. many safeties that. All right. Well, then and Weddle, he category. also made a ton of Pro Bowls. That, that was BS. Hey, Jake, ball. if this is basketball, I'm fucking on your ass. All right. All right. Oh, it's going to be epic. Wait, Mark, they have to sweep us here for overtime? Yeah, Muffin Man have to sweep and send it to overtime. Uh, we got college hoops. Dude, oh, God damn it. I told the oh. three. The three I said, let's double for. We got all three right, and you said no to all of them. So you better get that. We can get this. Thanks for your contributions this day. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Muffin, <laughs> Muffin Man to stay alive. Uh, which ACC team has the highest all-time winning percentage behind North Carolina, Duke, Syracuse, and Louisville, winning 64.6% of their games in their 117-year history? Oh, so behind the top four teams. Okay, yes, great. so the fifth. So we have a choice, <laughs> we have a choice of seven. Um, what, what about Wake, Wake Forest? Oh, I like um, Wake Forest. I don't hate that. I mean, we can just name them because it doesn't matter. Um, NC State. Hit, hit. Wait, Pitt. it's an ACC. Hit, yeah. Oh man, fuck! They've had That's what I mean. That's too. what I'm saying. This question is bullshit. I feel like it's between like Pitt and Wake Forest. I feel like it's between. Oh like Pitt oh and Wake oh Forest. oh! Forest. What about uh? No no. What about uh, Miami? Florida? No, I don't think so. Oh. oh, not over Pitt and Wake Forest. I mean, okay. I I just all right. How would it be you might decide between the two. I like uh I like Wake Forest better. I think. Okay. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's, let's do oh, or do I Wait. like Pitt better? Hmm. Jesus Christ. What about West Virginia? Is that in that conference? Yeah. All right, we, we got to go with one. Let's go. No, Pitt. they're the Big East. So let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pitt. Pitt final. Right. Oh, fuck. This it's over. We lost. Could this be Virginia? I, I like Miami too. Sure. Oh, I like Virginia. That's that's a pretty good one. Suck. What about like Virginia? Yeah, Virginia. Right. Final answer. Notre Dame. 
Ah, shit. I, they conference? came to mind, but I didn't, I didn't think they were in the ACC. I no idea. Yeah, I was like, Notre Dame, but like they're not in the ACC. I didn't though. know they were in a conference. I don't yeah. know. They're on the ACC for basketball. Yeah. And oh, have they always, have they always been? <laughs> okay, Chop House, two points. Oh, really? Uh, what? Oh, sorry. It was, what Pac-12 team has the highest all-time winning percentage behind UCLA and Arizona, winning 64.3% of uh, the games in their 112-year history? Is this like USC? 112 years, so I don't know. USC or Oregon, whichever one. Oregon State too is really good at basketball. I don't know how good they've been for a long time, though. I don't feel like I don't feel like. What about like, what about like not in the Pac-12, right? What is Kansas in the Pac-12? I no, no. Big 12. Stanford is though, and they. Oh, Big 12. That's right. That's right. I like. I like. I, I want to stay more West Coast. I like Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, or USC. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, no, those four. Those is, I think it's one of those four. It has to be, right? I don't There's only four good ones. All but. right, I'm going to go USC. Yeah, I'm between USC and Oregon, but it's a toss-up between them. Tony Pollard. Final, USC. Yeah, USC final. I mean, I, I feel like Washington. What about? I feel like Washington is on par with Notre Dame. It wouldn't be like Colorado. Yes. Or yeah, what about Colorado? Uh, Jake, what happened? Tony or Pollard Cal. did score a touchdown. What about, what about what about Cal too? Uh, actually, I like Cal. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Cal final. Neither right. team mentioned it. It was Utah. I was gonna, I was gonna say it might be on fourth Notre Dame. I was never was close to that. Off. All right, the game ends six to nine. Eight points. Next week, Muffin Men. Uh, you got Sandusky's Daycare and Chop House. You got Hive Mind, two three and three teams. Thank you all for playing. Thanks, Great Claus. Place.